Dan Colco, joined now by Bobby Blanco from MassInSports.com. Bobby putting in heavy work though yesterday and today with Mark Zuckerman taking a couple days off. So Bobby, as you watched yesterday's game, we went into it kind of wondering how the late innings might play out with the news before the game that Carl Edwards Jr. lands on the injured list. He's been the seventh, eighth inning guy for the Nats through the first two and a half months of the season. Yesterday it was Mason Thompson that got the call in the seventh. Didn't go the whole seventh inning himself, but got a couple outs and then Davey mixed and matched from there. You think that's how we see it play out over the next few weeks while Carl might be down? Yeah, Carl's going for an MRI this weekend and he'll go down to Florida to rehab with Victor Robles while the Nats are on the road. So how is Davey going to manage his bullpen on this long road trip? We saw yesterday he went right to Mason Thompson with a lead in the seventh inning and then didn't hesitate to bring in uh, Kyle Finnegan to get four outs and also go to Hunter Harvey who threw 31 pitches the night before to get his fourth save of the season. That's going to be the formula. Now, I think Davey also mentioned after the game that Jordan Weems is going to have to pitch high leverage situations moving forward with Carl Edward Jr. out. They like the stuff. He's been throwing the ball a little bit better as of late, but it's going to be Thompson, Finnegan, Harvey for the most part, but Weems is going to have to pitch in one of those days in high leverage situations when one of those guys isn't available. Yeah, you talk about it all the time. When there's injuries, other guys have to step up. Yesterday, Mason Thompson did. Got some help from Finnegan in that seventh. We'll see how it plays out with Carl Edwards Jr. down. So, Victor Robles, as you said, Bobby, also lands on the IL yesterday. We'll go down to Florida as he rehabs, which leaves an opportunity now. It was not Alex Call that was recalled to play center field. It was instead Derek Hill went out there yesterday, got a hit, did a nice job in center field. Davey talked about this yesterday, uh, pregame, I should say. Derek Hill's going to get an opportunity now pretty much every day out there in center field. Yeah, he confirmed today that Derek Hill's going to be pretty much the everyday center fielder. While he's here, he's going to play. And this season is about evaluations, right? Yep. Like, they're looking to see who, what pieces they have for the future. They got 60-plus games of Alex Call. Derek Hill's now here. He has an opportunity to play every single day, and he has stuff that the Nationals are intrigued by. He can hit the ball up the field. He has a lot of speed on the base pass, the infield single. And then when he's on first base, a chopper to shortstop, he beat to get to second base. He plays a solid center field as well. So they were really intrigued by him in spring training before his hamstring injury set him back. Now he's here. He's going to play every single day, and they're looking forward to see what he can bring. Bobby, thanks for the time, buddy. Yeah, of course, Dan. Have a good game.